Hello, welcome back to the Demon Hunter playthrough. This is, of course, part two. And hopefully, everything is working as it should. But there are no guarantees, and uh, now I actually have a decent latency as well. Uh, it was yellow on about 400 earlier, but uh, it seems to be alright. Uh, I saw that someone was. Uh, not really playing, but just marking out that uh, the background sound, uh, some kind of. Uh, just noise, noisy sound in the background from uh, my microphone probably, so I turned off the microphone boost. Uh, which means that the sound will um, be a bit lower now. Uh, turn that off, hopefully it will work better. So where are we? We are now in New Tristram. We're about to talk to Leia. Uncle, you're I have to turn alive. the volume up Thanks for myself as well. And your friend here. I have but one request of you. What do you know of the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Alright, so she's claiming that uh, the good Kane's stories the are just lunatic, but you know, he have been Leon. through he was quite by a lot. Evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. A tragic story, but I can't... Yeah, just uh, get rid of him. Yes, uh, the, his life has been... Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, full of disappointments. First of all, he lived in uh, Tristram. A uh, wild Diablo was uh, rising the first time said you could help me and also he was locked up in the cage no and uh, was actually freed by the hero like in Diablo 2 and so now he's back again Thank close to Tristram in now in a new Tristram Sometimes death is so he has some have. reasons to be I a bit wary I have to say that Thank you. Follow me. Hey, come over here. Now we're supposed to help this blacksmith, uh, we're supposed to kill his wife. And I don't think that she will appreciate that. Oh, mother of the zombie. Let's put trap down there, one there, and one there, and let's start shooting. Read of everything here, again, the leg as well, how beautiful. Some rubber banding. That should be alright, anyways. Go away, and there we go. My love, forgive me. Ah, uh, help me! And she is sealed. There you go. Have something for you. Please die. There we go. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is one favor I must ask of you. Do you know where Leoric's crown is? I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Alright, it's time to go to cemetery and uh, see what we can find, but we're going to look um, past this north northwest. Gate and see what we can find There's first. A big pack coming this time. Stand your ground. That's the last of them. The they are going down so far. Scavengers are ugly, but I like that. I really do. Off of carrion and this bow is too good. But to oh, any other mama! I did want Got something for you guys. Fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. But I'm sure the story Ooh. is utter nonsense. Get away from me. They are getting closer and closer and they refuse to die. There we go. Well, there we go, leather pants. Great improvement there. Nothing fun but some armor. That is just what we need right now because things are getting in our face and they do hit quite hard. There we go, and that explosion kill. Oh, look at that, level up, level 6. So it's time to see what we got. A puncturing arrow, that is for this, what's it called? Hungering arrow. Rune. And that's about 
it. So let's take that one. And let's see what it does. Increases the chance for arrow to pierce by f uh, not to 50%, so not by 50%. I'm still waiting. So every other arrow will actually uh, run the enemy through and continue. There we go. A lot of worms, a lot of crap, a lot of zombies actually. And I uh, think uh, his prince is right there. A corpse of uh, Heijig's apprentice. Um, let's see, nothing dead. of interest there. Uh, but I do see some champions and they are moving around. This corner, we will get them pretty soon. By pretty soon, I mean now. Put one of those. There we go. Look at that. Items, money, health globes. That is the good stuff for me. And we got a fortune shrine as well. So oh yeah. Increased magic find, increased gold finds, and increased mobs that want to kill me right now and right here. So, oh, it's close. To that explosion, and it actually hit me in the face, and that's hurt. But that's alright, I will be able to recover from that. And rotting corpses, this beautiful thing, I kill it quite fast, otherwise, it will spawn zombies one at a time, but probably endlessly. Please get away from me. There we go. So let's see. Balance short bow. What's the damage of that one? It's worse than the one we have. Oh, I actually forgot. Uh, there is a real. Ooh, and we'll show you soon. There's a really nice feature in this game that we'll show you next time something drops. Uh, but we have. We need to have an item for that. We cannot do it with uh, gold. So hopefully. Someone here will drop some kind of item, but they refuse to do that. So why are they doing that? There we go. Finally. Uh, for instance, if let's say I have a belt, it just gives me eight in defense. If you just hover over the thing and press control, you will see the tooltip for it, and this one is better, so I will take that one instead. Very handy. I, I'm not really using it much, but uh, I really like the idea that they are putting in things like that. Especially, uh, you know, in the beginning in the m mid sections of the game, we do not really know. When you find, you know, white or blue items that might be an improvement, you but you might not want to bother picking them up. You can just hover, control click them, like that, and you will see. Uh, it would be even better if they actually compared it. If I pick it up and compare it like that, I would get the comparison menu there. And you can see that this one is worse. That would. It would be great if that was included uh, with it. Oh! Crap. Uh, with that uh, other feature when you press control. Sadly, it's not a la la la. A lot of things here then. It wants to kill me. And I want to live. There we go. When in doubt, pick up the health codes. There we go. And just one guy left. There we go. Some pants and shield as well. Oh, look at that. More experience points. I uh, wanna kill uh, stuff. And uh, well, I do that all the time, so why not? Get away from me, please. I'm just poking around here. I do not want to miss anything. Oh, look at that. Money. Money, 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 money. Uh, just check in the chat if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you can actually do that, uh, you know, I do stream. Uh, not that uh, regularly, but uh, every now and again, and I've got a question here about money, if the gold will actually have a value. And yes, I really believe it will. A lot of uh, different features require gold. And we will be able to sell gold and buy gold in the auction house, uh, on the Riemann auction house that is. And I will show you, I can actually show you right now, uh, what kind of a no, I cannot, because I do not have the template yet, but I can show you later on. Uh, but, for example, you need to repair your items, that will cost money. Uh, if you want to level up your artisans, that costs money. If you want to craft anything, that costs money. So, pretty much everything you do in this game will force you to use gold. And the amounts are actually quite heavily 
increased if you compare to Diablo 2. For instance, now I have 27, almost 28,000 gold. I have been increasing uh, my blacksmith some, not much, but just a little. And just to open up um, two more rows in uh, my chest costs 10,000. If I want to open up th uh, the next tab later on, that costs 150,000. So the amounts are really huge, actually. So I really think gold is supposed to be the currency of the game. And uh, I think that Blizzard will force that to happen. And they can very easily do that. They can decrease the amount of money that drops, they can increase the costs. So that shouldn't really be any problem for them at all. And here we have a lot of crap that wants to hurt me. Did anybody order a skeleton? Ah! Please die, there we go. Oh, look at that. The cold ground welcomes the foul bodies of these cool men. They sought to prolong their lives through forbidden magic at great and cruel cost to others. Their evil fed on itself until it consumed them all, and they found themselves at the end of a hangman's rope. Oh, mother of champions that wants to hurt me, let's take a potion. And uh, this lag isn't really helping me a lot, and I have knockback as well, and I see health go, and I want that badly, and I want it to now because uh, my flask is on cool. Oh, there we go. Get away. Oh, that hurt. They refuse to die. There we go, and the big one there, and we are back in the game here. I would really love to find a one hand crossbow because I actually can actually use that together with with a shield and uh, that would really help because my skills aren't that strong right now and I don't want to die and uh, that would really help a lot I do not have any good air effect attacks yet yeah the demon, demon hunter is really something I enjoy playing but I think yeah, if you just check the skills here Devices and archery is locked in the beta. I think some of the traps later on might be really, really cool and fun to play with. But um, yeah, what I really think about, um, I, I, I think gym, well, all classes are really, really interesting. I have to say, I actually think that the wizard is the least interesting. That doesn't mean she isn't interesting. It is just that all other classes are so damn cool. I have to say that. I'm playing around quite a lot in the beta now uh, for uh, the last couple of weeks. And uh, especially the monk and the witch doctor really surprised me in how awesome they are to play. Uh, in the beginning I was all set to, you know, create barbarian as the first character because they are manly and I want to bring back my Tuskelining, uh, an old character from the other two. But then I played around with the monk, and uh, I might be in love. It is that easy. I'm very uh, curious uh, to see what Blizzard have in store for us later on. It is so much poten potential in this game, and I, I think looking uh, around the forums, and people are like. Well, the game doesn't really feel complete and things like that. And they base that out of the beta. And of course the beta isn't complete, so that's kind of the point of having a beta. But a lot of people seem to misunderstand that. And, uh... I, I do not have any problem with people, you know, giving uh, advices and uh, trying to, you know, explain things that are bad and how you can improve. But people that are whining um, about the beta and how it, you know, plays out and what you can do and how limited you are and things like that. Um, I cannot respect that kind of people because... And uh, um, the same thing, I think it was last weekend. Um, the beta was down for a couple of days and people was whining so much everywhere uh, on all forums I've actually looked not not all the people but a lot of people and uh, on all of the forums I checked people were bitching because oh I want to play what's up Blizzard why do you not let me play the game 
And they saw the beta as something that was the right. It was the right to play the beta because they had it. And uh, but it's not something. Blizzard doesn't owe anyone a beta. You know, m m still many games do not have an open beta, and uh, especially earlier on, they usually actually work closed. So. I don't really see it. it's a privilege to be able to play the game before release. And they were also, you know, whining about, well, there's some problems, how will it be on release? But I think, you know, I don't really have any problem with Blizzard finding issues now. Because if they find issues later on, uh, well, if they find them now, they can probably avoid them uh, when it's time for a release. Uh, yeah, it's true. I am actually recording right now, so for if uh, you say that one, once again, uh, for all people watching the stream, uh, it's not that many right now, but still, uh, there's a YouTube channel you can find it there. Uh, it's just Lord of Please, I do record some crap over there. Uh, also, other games, but nowadays mostly Diablo 3, only Diablo 3. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, there is a um, stream that I stream from occasionally, and that is twitch.tv slash logopies. And I just got level 7. So yeah, I'm not really um, answering ch uh, chat um, by typing, but I do, uh, you know, speak instead. And I got something here, impale, impact, let's see, you get a stun, let's take that, because I can, that's all there is, nine. oh, mama. He died. Uh, let's see here. I'm supposed to find King Leoric's old crown, which has eight in a life leech. Eight percent, that is. Or at least it should have, but uh, well, not in this game. But you always use Diablo original game reference point because well it's kind of the original so yeah that's all uh, there is to that yes. no these undead they do not want to stay at, at peace in their graves they want to eat my brain but that will not allow them and uh, one thing that I'm very fascinated about oh look at that oh enlightened shrine more experience points and some champions that gives me extra experience points because they are awesome. My there we go. Although they refuse to die in that it might be somewhat of a problem. Get away from me. Let's see. Some health, po health potions, money. And some other crap and a fetso. Way. And um, if you know any of you are watching this um, and it feels like it is a bit laggy when I play. Uh, that is because, well, it is laggy. Well, first of all, it's beta, and uh, I probably stressed uh, something and things like that. And also, the servers are based in uh, the United States, and uh, that is quite far away. Which makes up for a lot of l uh, latency, and there's nothing I can do about that. But luckily for me, who uh, lives in Sweden, uh, a Swedish company called Telia usually hosts, uh, they do host a lot of Battle.net servers in Europe and since it is a Swedish company, hopefully some service will be placed in Sweden. Um, and I saw something in my chat right now which confused me. It is not only star 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 that you record. Well, I have no idea what that mean means, but I'm alright with that, and uh, now I find the right way. So let's go down to uh, the file crypts, uh, level 2. I have a feeling that the crown is near and there the are two more crypts, I will of course defile them some as well. Let's put up a um, highway of traps there. Let's try to kill this guy, Manglemore. Horror of the Crypt. 
I think we should be alright. It's not that hard. There we go. And uh, of course, what I lack in air effects right now, I do gain in single target. Both of my attacks are quite strong with one target. The unburied are formed from human corpses that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, <laughs> I could only flee from it. And I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. Alright, so we do have uh, some extra attack speed now, so it's time to bring out the hatred here. Get away from me, you two. Please just die. Oh, they are crap load of toes here. But the skeletons don't really have that, but still, it counts. And you should die, and I should not. And uh, this rubber banding right now is a bit annoying. But what can you do? What can you do? There we go. I will Oops. not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Please die. There we go. No problem at all. Nimble boots, lion. I think lion means strength. Correctly. Now I have town portal as well. Uh, oh yes, but they are good as well. And finally we got one hood. So now we are playing uh, uh, Red Riding Hood here. Is that what it's called? I think so. The tragedies in these lands have Röd Luvan, so spirits in their wake. If you are failing retribution. The These name in English, just take it in Swedish, that solves everything. Let's find some more Simpsons as well, because I can... Oh, skeleton, get them. away from me. Two skeletons and three skeletons. Oh yeah, experience points, give it to me. And we're supposed to go back now, but there are some crap you can do down here as well. One of them is... Well, it simply has... Some kind of event, I think. One of two events. And the other one just have a um, treasure chest somewhere in the dungeon, so I want to grab all of that. I want treasure and I want events. And I want thick boots as well. I don't use that because I like the move speed. Quite a lot, quite a lot. Oh, look at that, boss. Wood knockback, how lovely. Let's put up a tray of crap here. There we go. What, two more here. Not enough hatred. There we go. He's finally starting to take damage and I should be just fine here. Mending bracers. That will uh must do any good. Not so good at all. Oh, that's a lot of imps. That's alright, because I'm awesome, and uh, that's one crossbow I, I am going to use, and I will use it with uh, this shield as well. Which gives me uh, a good deal of protection, as well as. The, well, you can still attack with a ranged weapon. Oh, yeah. It's like being both awesome and manly at the same time. And that is just beautiful. Uh, let's see, let's take this way down here. Let's see what we can find. And yes, this is the tomb with the one event. Let me show you that right now. A jar of souls. Time left. 57 seconds, and uh, you will see skeletons. Probably more than one. And for any of you who wants to be the achievement where you're supposed to kill uh, 20 guys or more in one blow, this is a good place to do that because a lot of things will spawn, but they are quite weak to force openness up. And if you want to do it, I would recommend doing it with. Uh, 
either. I'm not pretty sure. My, my two personal favorites is either the wizard or the barbarian. The barbarian uh, later on with a bit more level. This is not good. Yeah, the barbarian will rent, uh, rent and uh, the room for that one will reach 17 yards. I think it is. That is really great, and they are so many. And just excuse me for one second here. There we go. I have to cough a bit. Yeah, axe of wounding, that is exactly what I want. Where did it go? No, that's not the one. That's the one. Woohoo. Well, I will not clear this dungeon. Yeah, well, I might as well kill some more. Yeah, of course I got smoke screen. This means that I will just go invisible. Need more time. Well, not yet, but soon. Yeah, this is a skill that I think will be very handy in the high difficulties. Because you can escape from uh, clusters of enemies without them really noticing what you're doing. And the ability of not dying is really, really great, especially if you intend to play hardcore. And if you do not intend to play hardcore, uh, at least uh, occasionally, then you're doing it wrong. Although it is a r great risk every time you <laughs> move out of uh, any kind of town or city or anything like that. Yeah, it, that is the kind of excitement that really makes the game shine, I think. That is of course why I scream and uh, whine and uh, yell a lot when I'm playing right now, because I am playing hardcore uh, on the beta. And uh, so far I have not been able to die. I have died once at hardcore, but uh, that was purpose to see. Uh, what it looks like, I would probably do a video with that as well. Someday, not today, but someday. And here we go, Cemetery of the Forsaken, we can teleport back out again, and uh, then we can take that away in, and in the meantime I can adjust my chair. Because it is somewhat broken, so every time, if I, you know, I do not want it to have it in the lowest position, but it actually slowly sinks down, and... Uh, then I have to adjust it. And here we have the third crypt, and uh, nothing uh, exciting will be found here, I think. Except those guys, of course, that grant me experience, and I like experience. But they are fat and ugly, and they can apparently teleport. How neat. This is a stutter stepping. There we go. Health potions... Belt... That I'm going to use because I like magic find. There we go. No problem at all. I think we should look in here and see what we can find. Some zombies, of course. And this... Then a chest. Uh, bow, javelin, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's take the teleport back to town here. And by the way, javelins in this game is not like in Diablo 2. It is not a thrown weapon, it's actually a mini weapon. If you look at it like that... No? Take that one. As you can see, I'm. S oh, that was not a very manly strike. <coughs> well, enough of that. And just have to find my skills again. They are right there. Piercing arrow, level nine. That is. So I think the barbarian would have some kind of throw skill, and that bow. I was supposed to check that out, but I. Salvaged it instead. So now it's gone forever. Well, not much to do. 
I've got some got a right There's no turning back. Oh, there we go. Some extra gold, so no pest. 30,000. Hello, hey, Drake. Crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs some uh, Should be no Always problem. nice. But it's something to drink when you talk a lot. It's good to work again. There. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then we are allies. Each weapon you forge for me shall serve to purify these lands. One more thing. Your apprentice is dead. Fool boy. Hope for the worst and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. So, alright, we reach a new checkpoint here and now we are supposed to go down through the cathedral, open up the locked door and uh, try to find King Lyric. So this will be the end of part 2 of this recording. If you are checking this on YouTube, you can probably pretty soon jump to part 3, uh, once that is recorded and uploaded. And if you are looking at the stream right now, just have to stay for a while and I will record part 3 as well. So, thank you for this part 2. See you all soon.